Hi, today I'm going to show you how to use motion layout in Android. So let's get started. Open your Android Studio. First, we create our project. Start a new Android Studio project. Click on empty activity. Click on next. Name of your application. Here I'm using language Java. Click on finish. First of all, I want to tell you what is motion layout. Motion layout is a subclass of constraint layout. It allows you to animate UI elements, which are the part of a layout. Using motion layout, you can animate the size, positions, and other properties of UI elements. I will tell you everything step by step. So first what we do, we add required dependency in build.gradle app level. Here we change minimum SDK 14 and add dependency. Here I'm using Android X, so add the dependency according to that. Now click on sync now. Here we click on layout, activity main.xml design. Here we right click on constraint layout and convert to motion layout. Here you can see that we successfully convert the constraint layout to motion layout. As I said earlier, motion layout is a subclass of constraint layout. So to use motion layout, first we have to create a screen with elements to which we want to apply animation using motion layout. So this is our XML file. Here we add one image view and we will apply animation on this image view. Animate this image view. We have to provide details for animation in motion scene XML file. Here you can see the activity main scene.xml file which is created automatically when I convert the constraint layout to motion layout. Now click on this file. In this motion scene XML file, we provide the details for the animation, such as when to trigger the animation, starting layout, ending layout, animation duration, and other information. Here you can see the root element is motion scene. And inside this motion scene, we add transitions, constraints set. This transition element contain details such as from state to state, which element and which action triggers animation. And constraints set are added to the motion scene file to defining the starting and ending state of the constraints. Now we start with constraint set is where you define the various constraints that, that describe your motion. Now we define the starting state constraint for the elements. Here we place our image view ID. We define the image view width when we drag the image from left to right or right to left. Find the starting margin. Similarly, here we define the ending state constraint of the elements. Here we define image view.
Now we work on transitions. This transition contains the base definition of motion. Here you can see motion constraint set and define the end points of the motion. Constraint set is start define the starting point of the motion. And here duration specify the number of millisecond that is take motion to complete. Now here we add on swipe which let you control the motion via touch. Drag direction define progress direction of the drag. Here touch anchor ID defines the view that you can swipe and drag. And touch anchor side means that we are dragging the view from the left side or right side. Here I am using right side. Now click on activity mean.xml. Here layout description which contain the description of the animation. Here I forget to add our image. Now run the project. Here you can see the basic motion. When I touch and drag, it move horizontally. Now, if you want to change the background color here, then click on activity motion scene XML file. Here, inside the constraint, we define custom attribute. This motion attribute name is required and must match an object with greater and setter method. For this example, background color. Background color is supported. And you can provide your custom color value. Here we are changed color. Now run the project. So here you can see the background color is changed when I drag the image. Now, if you want to alter the by position of a view during the motion, we use frame set. And keyframes can be applied to position or to attribute values. They basically let you specify a change at a point in a time duration of transitions. Inside this keyframe set element, we use key position to set up the position. Here, frame position can be integer from 1 to 99. Specify when in the motion sequence the view reaches the point specified by the key position. Here we pass the image view ID. Now run the project. Here, you can see when I drag the image, it changes its by position. Now, when you drag your image, you want to change the width and height of your image. You can change the layout width and height. Run the project. So when I drag the image, it changes its height and width. Thank you for watching my video. Please like and subscribe my channel and share your feedback in comment section. Thank you.